But I remember, for some reason or other, being very excited when, when Fidel Castro made the revolution in Cuba. I was a kid and I remember reading that. seemed right and appropriate that poor people were rising up against rather ugly rich people. And I remember, again, very distinctly, a very distinct feeling. I was watching the debates. You remember the famous Nixon-Kennedy debates? That was the first time <coughs> the presidential cam candidates actually debated. And I was becoming increasingly interested in politics, didn't know much, but was interested. I remember sitting in the student lounge at our dormitory watching the debate. And at that time, well, we can talk about Cuba now, I was very excited and impressed by the, the Cuban Revolution. And there was Kennedy and Nixon talking about which particular method they should use about uh, destroying the revolution. in inflation accounted for dollars the same amount of money as a worker did 43 years ago. Today you have massive levels of income and wealth inequality, three families owning more wealth than the bottom half of America. Now why does that happen? Is it that the candidates are liars? I don't think so, not in most cases. In many cases they are very decent people trying to do their best. But what we have to recognize, and the reason that I use the term democratic socialism, is because I believe that we need policies that protect working families and not just the 1%. But in addition to that, it is imperative to understand why so little progress is being made economically. And that is, and I think my campaign is unique in saying this, if you want real change in America, if you want health care for all, if you want real climate change reform, if you want education opportunities available for all, we have got to take on the ruling class of America. Right. That is Wall Street, the drug companies, the insurance companies, the fossil fuel industry, the military industrial complex. And what I am saying is that I, as president, can't do it alone. 